If we allow the crisis to continue, the Fiji economy will be ruined. Companies will close down. A lot of people will lose their jobs. There will be food shortages. We will run out of medicines. Government will not be able to collect sufficient revenue to provide normal services and sporting bans will continue. In our rural areas and outer islands, the household income distribution survey in 1993 pointed. I make a final plea to them. Please release the hostages. And to all citizens of our country, I renew my call with charity for all and with malice to no one. Let us strive forward together. May God bless you all. commands people's lives in their numerous thousands. Um, what's going to take place now, on the back of the announcement of the interim government, which nobody in Fiji wants, or rather most Fijians don't want, is that the, uh, the respective high chiefs around Fiji will um, exercise their authority to um, command their young men in the army to come out of the army. And uh, as that takes place over the next few days, I'm sure, um, Commander Baini Maramu will find himself uh, in command of an army that, uh, that has no men. <laughs> I think the interim civilian government has a very, very short life, lifespan.